Okay, so all the pieces for the top mount are finished. They came out really, really well. Um, I'm really impressed with the, the smoothness of the print. Um, so we're gonna start and get this put together. So the first thing we're gonna do is we need this piece here and this piece. And in here, we're gonna put some lubricating grease. You get lubricating grease in the pack. Okay, so we'll do that now. So just a little bit of grease into here. Doesn't really say how much, but we'll just go with that. And then we're gonna join the two bits together. And you can see it just slots around like that. And there is like a little connector you can put in and then screw that in with that. I'm really impressed with the tolerances on the screws to be, to be fair. Right, so this is the clamp. So join it together and clip it into place. And then we're gonna use the screws that are provided, um, screws that are provided in the box. Just focus in here so you can see that. So for top mount latch, okay. So we're gonna use those and they're gonna just be screwed through here and through here. So screws should just go in, make sure you've got all your support material out. The support on this came off really, really easy, uh, which is really nice. So we're just gonna screw, screw those in. And uh, once it's done, we'll come back. Okay, so we're gonna take the Z-axis stiffener, which is held by my trusty assistant, my amazing wife, Jill. And we're gonna take the dampeners uh, here and they just literally pop in like so. Amazing. And then we're gonna do that with both uh, both of them. Oh, thanks, honey. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna <laughs> take these, which are, what are these called? C-clamps. The C-clamps. And they are literally um, labeled right and left. I think one's a right one, one's a left one. I'm sure, yeah, so on here, I thought, I thought, sorry, you can see L just in there and an R in there. So I'm gonna take the right one and I'm gonna put this on. So the, these are, obviously you don't wanna scratch it and these are quite, these are a re little bit flexible. So I'm just gonna go on at a slight angle and then twist, okay? And then just make sure you haven't scratched, <gasps> scratched the amazing thing and that's it. Okay, so just gently, gently and that's it around and same the other side uh, 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 uh. okay okay so we're gonna take the Z axis stiffener and it will just slide in like so and then obviously they will be screwed I think either side and we'll do the same for the other side. Like so. And the idea of these is that because we're adding so much weight to the top of the printer, these are to just give it a bit more stability and support. Um, pretty cool. Okay, so the next part is to take the top mount and just pop it on and clamp it shut. And that's it. Okay, so we're ready to get the um, AMS ready for loading to the top of the bamboo. So we've got to undo all the screws on the stand and remove it from the stand. Okay, so the AMS goes on top and just gently slots into that. Okay, you want three and four to be facing the front um, and then the screws go in through here. And uh, obviously just remember to plug your AMS back in once you've finished that. Okay, so these are the PTFE tube guides. So three and four go on the front, clip on here, and you just basically push the uh, PTFE tubes through. Remember to push the black button down, guide it through and into back into your uh, PFT thing. And then again, same uh, with this one, I'm just deciding which way around this goes. I don't think it really matters. But. 
and they do take a little bit of force to clip on. And again, PTFE tubes go through and back in. Oh, like so. And then just tidy up your cables. And make sure everything's secure. Okay, and that's it. That's the AMS top mount upgrade done. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it and it seems pretty sturdy. So the next thing I'm gonna be printing is an adapter for <clears throat> my bigger reels. So I've got some big reels which won't obviously stay on, which is annoying. Um, so there's an adapter I'll print for that. Uh, I do have a question though that you can comment below. So obviously we put some grease into this, but I don't really see the point of the grease. So if you know why it needs grease in there, uh, comment below, that'd be really helpful, I'd love to know. Uh, and remember to like, subscribe and share. And remember to hit that bell, because if you hit the bell, you'll know when the next video is up and it may be of some help to you. And if it has been of help to you, please let me know, um, because I'm only here for you guys. Thanks a lot.